Hey, hey, Berta J, and you're back in my kitchen with me today. I want to start a series, or I'm going to start a series, on freezing things. And it's going to be called, Can We Freeze It? Can we freeze apples? Yes, you can. And they don't have to be cooked. And I'll show you how to do it. I have an apple in here that's soaking. You peel them, you cut them, however you really like it. You cut it for pies, for cakes, muffins. And what you, you soak it in, how it soaks is you take a gallon of water. For every gallon of water that you have to soak your apples, use a tablespoon of lemon juice. Oh, you put the apples in the lemon juice so they don't oxidize. They stay as white as they normally are. These are a little bit, but not much because apples float. So what was exposed to the, to the light got a little bit brown, but not very much. I only had six apples. I got them on, on, on a bargain markdown with old, old uh, fruits and vegetables in my grocery store. And they were all, mostly all organic, so I thought I'm gonna get these. And I wanted to freeze them, but I wanted to show you how to do it too, because it's really easy. Now why I do apples is not only for pies and stuff like that, but also because for me, I like bananas, but the nice cream that I have, which is another video, it, I'm not real crazy about bananas. And so what I do is I take a handful of, small handful of frozen apples, fresh apples, and I throw it in the nice cream with the, with the banana. And it really calms the, the taste of the banana down. Don't know if that's something you want to do, but that's how it all started with these fro learning about frozen frozen fruits and veggies. So this is about, this is a half a gallon. I really didn't need that much, but a half a gallon, I used a teaspoon and a half of lemon juice. Stir it up really well, and then get a parchment lined cookie sheet. Cut it in chunks like that, which I like, but you can also slice like that. Stir it up. Stir up your apples in your lemon water, okay? And then really that's all you have to do. You're done. Got your cookie sheet. You just take your hand. You don't like everything, I don't know, things you cook, you freeze. What you want to do is make sure they're in like a, a single, single line. They can be bunched close together, but you don't want to have a mound. You don't want it like that, okay? You don't want that. You want it just laying out. They are put on a parchment lined pan. I'm using a cookie sheet. You could use an, you know, if you only have a few, you could use an uh, eight by 10, eight by eight or a nine by nine square pan. The reason I do this is so that you could take them and throw them in a bag if you wanted to, but what ends up happening is because they are, the apples are mound on top of one another and they're not laying out flat, you'll get a mound of apples all bunched together in a baggie, in a, some kind of a freezer bag. So if you lay them out like that, they'll be individual. So you could take out six or seven. You won't be able to do that if you put it in a bag. I'll put these in the, in the freezer and then I'll bring them out tomorrow. I've, I'm just gonna freeze them overnight. You don't have to worry about running back and forth a few hours here and there. You can do a, free out, a few hours if you want, and let it be at least four or five. But if you do them overnight, that's perfectly okay too. So they're nice and frozen. And I'll just show you what we'll do after we bring them out of the freezer, okay? So it's the next day, and I've frozen all the apples on the cookie sheet. And this is what they look like. You see, there's a little bit of frost on each one. Thought I could easily, there we go. And they're separate. See that? They break apart pretty easily. And now you bag them. And that's really the end of freezing apples. So I'm gonna finish putting these in the bag. And I just wanna remind you, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell so that every time a new video is uploaded, you will get it. You will get the notification.
okay? It's nice to have you with me as we're learning how to freeze things. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.